Yeah. Fine. Fine leg is up. iPad took some of the pace off the ball. But no chance for Broad. And yeah, the third man is quite wide. He's gone for four. First boundary off the bat, and we've had to wait until we're into the 10th over. In the air, fielder down there. Anderson, he's gone over with it. It was touch and go all the way. Down the hill, down the slope, James Anderson positioned himself well, but the boundary came too close. Chances have come England's way. Rami Bapara back with point makes no mistake. Oh, there it is, just about. Oh, yes. oh that'll run away. Fine leg inside the circle. Just needs a little nudge. Gone. Outside edge. Ambrose this time. Stuart Broad. Balling really well here. Balled a superb line this over. He's been probing away on this line and because of the fact he's bowling from the pavilion end as a batsman right-handed batsman you're always slightly wary of the ball running down the hill it makes you play at deliveries well that's a good shot edged and caught the end of McCallum. He's disappointed. Great shot. Hammered away. And with enough power to beat the dive there at uh, deep cover. Well, this stays it. So, halfway mark in the innings. 90 for three is the score. Over the top of Bermidon. It's good footwork, it's good striking from Flynn. Uh, ten days or so, Andrew Strauss called into the squad, then back for Middlesex, back into the squad. Oh, yeah, but just past mid-wicket. And it'll beat uh, the man in the deep as well. Yay! Ball down, beautifully bowled. Graham Swan took some time out before that ball to get his field right. And he's got the delivery right as well. Pitching on a length, straightening marginally. Just wide of backward point. Side bottom does the chasing, but all in vain. A boundary for Jacob Oram. Try of catch it. It was well placed. And he's got that in the gap. Will it go? Despairing dive, but he can't get there. Well placed, that brings 150 up. Yeah, lovely square drive from Scott Starris. There we go. Is it all the way? It is all the way. This is what we thought would happen. Oh, the target, so these. Just had a feeling he was going to tee off. No fear of this pace, you see. This is right up his alley, so to speak. Yeah. Well, that's four. There's a bit of width there, and this might be the over where Jacob Warren says, enough's enough. Ah! Here it is, it's gone. That has gone. He pulled it. Four rows back. That's the problem with Shark, because he's not spinning the ball, so it won't worry Warren. And that's, uh, now that one might be a bit nearer the middle, because that's gone further back. Kevin Peterson, you might have just made the first mistake of the day. You took a punt, but Oram has brought up his 50 and double quick time with just 37 balls, and that is out and out brute strength. A long, long way back. Straight down the ground, not far enough. Lamar gets under it and takes the catch. So, well, the man out there. About to say how well Jacob Orr had played and how smart his options have been. James Swan just has one ball left of his ten overs. 
Jacob Warren tries to hit him out of the park. He might reflect on the fact that he could have played one delivery out from Swan and then had a bit of fun at the other end. There's a ball in very fine. And all the way. Brings up his half century. Danger bowling short at the end, you have no control over where the ball is going to go. Locked in halfway down, it's quite high, more of a top edge, I think, than anything, but it flew a long, long way. No one is there, but is he far enough? No, he isn't. It's six. Well, I said it wasn't Grant Elliott's game. Clearly, it is. It's in the slot, it must be said, side bottom trying to get it full, but it's a perfect length to hit, to get under the ball, to get elevation on it. Grant Elliott gets plenty of elevation. That's a good shot. That's gone a long way. That's gone, that's six. Along the course of boundaries here at Laws, the square boundary. That ends up being a good over for New Zealand. 12 from it, 240 for five. Get this. Slower, all right. It's a slow, attempted slower ball, but it's short and wide. Still got a hitter, though, and Scott Styris has hit that beautifully. Got it through the onside. That will go for four. Good hitting. Terrific innings, this, from... Scott Styris. That's a big hit into the grandstand. Five for five. It's magnificent hitting. Bad bowling at the end of an innings. Look at the length of that delivery. It's what cricketers would call in the slot, right in the slot to be whacked. On a perfect length to get that elevation up and over mid wicket. May go all the way. It does. Deep backward square, long on, long off. Man on the point boundary. Where will this go? Goes stone to third man. A boundary off the last delivery. So 11 runs from the over. And that means New Zealand have posted 266 on the board. Fells away with a boundary. Very strong off his pads, climbed beautifully for four. Stats won't move on, that's why when he's in, he needs to cash in. And he's cashing in at the moment, he's getting across his stumps, and his timing's good again. Four more. Doesn't miss that time, Alistair Cook. It was short, it was wide, it was put for four. Short. That's pulled away. It's not time, but the outfield's fast at Lords. And another boundary. Oh, this beautifully weighted. Kyle Mills has been a little guilty of uh, leg side bowling in this spell so far, and Victoria's found it pretty hard to block the gaps. No protection out there in the deep. I feel I've gone a lot straighter than the man at point though, but that's pretty much the line you want in the goal, and you need to give him protection on that side. It's 44 without loss. Beautiful work. He's been superbly weighted behind square there. Well, that's close. And he's given him, yes. Playing across the line through the onside, Ian Bell. Sure, he's absolutely thrilled with it, but they are. Yeah! Little nip here, too, and he's got another one to himself here. Cross Alistair Cook. Just the faintest of touches, enough. And Steve Davis sends him on his way. Yeah. Lovely shot. He's been punished, Tim Southey. A really good over until the fifth ball when he bowled a wide and the extra ball is served up a leg stump half volley which has been punished 69 for two <laughs> the 
look at that ball, having said how consistent Oram is, suddenly he gives Bapar a bit of width. He makes the most of it. Just there. Drifting in. And Bapar waited for it and played it beautifully down the ground. Beautiful shot. Full face of the bat. Down the ground. We're left, we're right. Oh, a good hook shot when I see you on that. Tom! Sally, what a game he's having. Another wicket for him. Frustration for Peterson, he couldn't get going, just six from 23, and in the end, slashes to backward point. Great shots, beautifully played. No need to run at all for that sort of shot. And he stood still exactly where he was when he played that shot. <laughs> oh, he's got him. Vittori is struck. Beautifully flighted from the uh, New Zealand captain, and it seemed to be that flight that just uh, undid Ravi Batara. Great thing to pick up wickets in this middle of period. Nothing gets the run rate up more than taking the play for wickets. That will help get that run rate down just a fraction. It's the first boundary for seven overs for England. Oh, boy. Hold him. Quicker ball from Vittori going on with the arm. And Luke Wright looking to give himself room to work through the offside, square of the offside. Pulled away. A bit, a boundary to just release the pressure from Omar Shah. Welcome boundary for this crowd. Catch him! Oh dear. It was quicker and wider, and Ambrose has just shoveled it to backward point. He's had a shocker today. Well, this is a sorry effort from England. Lost. Yeah. Uh, now is that glove? It is. That's a very good catch. And the column down the leg side. It looked as glove went to try and help it down the leg side. Gloved it. And then McCullum does the rest. Yeah. Hit it. It's hit it pretty well. Oh, he picked the right field, I would say. That's not the most mobile. And yeah, that's safe. Here's the man. Yeah. Oh, Carl Mills. I wonder what he's thinking. It's nicely played. Very, very well played. Cheeky but effective. This New Zealand are having a great day. And another one, bites the dust, big shot, Stuart Broad, full toss. Flynn, the catcher, out at deep mid-wicket. Side bottom gets four. Extraordinary shot, this goes for four, over extra cover, sharp. Moves on to 65. England, 203 for eight. Oh, that's a magnificent shot. But how he was able to get that power from that position. Bang! Incredible. Smash down the ground, fielder under it. Takes it, Marshall, substitute fielder. Always sharp. Nine down England. What a sorry effort this has been, but Shaw's played pretty well. 
And that will do nicely. Four of the catch it. England's innings just comes to an end. Jimmy Anderson with a scything shot to backward point. Gillespie cleans up. He's nipped in for a couple of wickets. Two for 29 in 9.5. Big, big smile on Daniel Vittori's face. Good, comfortable series win. Well, they came to this ground. Very determined bunch this morning. And for the events at the Oval, they were not prepared to let this series get away on them.